Welcome back to the Space. In this video, we're going to be going over while loops. So what a while loop is, is it's sort of like an if statement, but not really. So we're just going to go over it, like I said, in full context without skipping anything. So what a while loop is, is it basically says while a certain set of parameters are running, or while that certain set of parameters is true, run a certain set of code. So while something's true, run the code, and basically we're gonna run that code forever because that's just what a while loop does. So it runs that code forever and ever and ever, and you'll see right here. So we'll just say CL X. Make sure we put character, and we're just knocking it in the line. We're going to say while x is greater than, well, let's do something else. Let's say while number 1 is less than number 2. And then we're going to go create, of course, the variables number 1 and number 2. Once we create the variables, number one and number two, we can go ahead, give them values, and then we can test them. So number two is three, and we want this to be true for right now. So we're going to say um, one is number one. Put a semicolon, and then we're just going to click build and run and see what happens. So when you build and run it, you should just see a continuous stream of X's or whatever was in the while loop because it will never stop running. Now, you just go ahead and close this out if you would like. And we're going to see how you get the while loop to end. So for a while loop to end, we have to have something called an iterator. And I was going to wait for this to, you know, be in a later video, but we're just going to do it in this video. And what iteration is, is it basically increases the value of a variable or anything by a certain amount. So I can change the variable number one to be, uh, so every time this while loop runs, it goes up by one. So when it runs once, it's two. It, when it runs twice, it's three. If you don't get what I'm saying, we'll go ahead and show you right now. So We'll go ahead and say, after C out, after we output X, we're going to say number one is equal to number one plus one. Now, every time this while loop runs, it will take that variable, add one to it, and then save it again. So every time it runs, it's going to do that again until it is false. So eventually this number, the variable will be greater than Three because again that number is changing so when it's greater than three the while loop will stop and that this is what we'll get right here so as you can see I got two X's because the program ran once and it said okay number one is now equal to two and then it ran again it said okay it was two and now it is three because we're adding one so if I was to say number one plus two, we would only get one X. So we'll go ahead and run this. And as you can see, we only got one X because it ran once and it said, okay, you're already at three. So when we run again, it's four, therefore this is false. So we can only run once. So if you get that, awesome. If you don't get it, watch the video over. I highly suggest that. Other than that, click the subscribe button below for the rest of my videos i have great content coming out great content on my channel already so go check it out subscribe like this video leave a comment if you have any questions concerns or anything like that and i will see you guys in the next tutorial on c plus plus